The equation is pretty simple, like do something that you love, do something that you're actually passionate about, and that comes through, right? Because as investors, we're really looking to the founders as the, the people driving the vision that they have. My name is Fassel, um, part of Zane Capital. Um, my background is, you know, grew up in the U.S., lived part of my life in Pakistan as a teenager, um, been in financial services, I was at Goldman Sachs for the last 16 years, and then in the middle of that pandemic thought, hey, you know what, it's, it's a great time to do something for Pakistan, do something for the region, and started Zane Capital uh, with a few friends of mine, um, and we're focused on helping to grow the ecosystem in Pakistan. Obviously, you know, we've, we've invested in a few fintechs in Pakistan, so obviously Abhi Finance, Oran, uh, Postex, Trellis, we've done uh, a number of trades um, in Pakistan, also in the region as well, in Bangladesh, in the UAE, um, you know, Hubpay, Husby, and a few others. Um, I think what's exciting for us about fintech is product-first fintechs. Fintechs are really trying to solve a product-related problem. We're very focused on people are actually delivering utility-based products um, in financial services. I think 2022 is going to be the year of fintech. Um, we're going to see for the bid, the bid for fintech going up. Um, we're also going to see, I think, a lot more solutions and, and products being created, um, and a lot more maturity in the market. I think you know we've seen kind of fintech 1.0. Um, in Pakistan, and now we're kind of progressing uh, beyond that. I think also we'll start to see some consolidation in the market. I think with any, um, as a market matures, you're gonna start to see um, a lot of these players starting to collaborate a, a bit more. And I think one of the key things I'd like to see is that more FinTechs working together. Well, I think the biggest thing for me is still credit, right? So business lending, is something that you know is a massive opportunity in Pakistan. Um, people are still trying to figure it out. You know, obviously the banks and the incumbents are not there just yet. Um, but the fintech has a real opportunity to help not only digitize the supply chain but start to finance that supply chain as well. I think fintech should be focusing on what can I build on top of what's being built. Um, so I think you know, product first, utility driven, lending um, is going to be a key key for Pakistan. The equation is pretty simple, like do something that you love, do something that you're actually passionate about, and that comes through, right? Because as investors, we're really looking to the founders as the, the people driving the vision that they have, but also executing that plan. And you can only have the wherewithal to be a founder if you actually believe in what you're doing, um, and if you're solving a real problem. Um, so I think that's like a key advice, and I think you know it's a bit cliche, but that is that is the key piece of advice I would give to an entrepreneur. And don't worry about time, and don't worry about funding. It sounds typical, but I think when you take away the idea of time and the idea of money, you become very, very powerful. I think it's getting the basics right. It's getting the right team around you. It's having a, obviously a strong founding team, but also the second layer from the founding team, building a strong management team, being able to delegate. So a lot of it has to do with people and talent um, and building a culture. Like how do you build a culture um, within your organization that attracts talent, um, that focuses on, on the product and the problem you're trying to solve, and that's mission, mission driven. I think those are the key things that when those elements are not there, it causes startups to fail. Lahore is obviously home for me, and when I'm at home, I come to my other home, which is, which is Collabs, right? And so, for me, Collabs is that space where I come here, I meet old friends, I make new friends, um, really get a feel for the ecosystem, um, see a lot of new ideas, uh, meet random people who are thinking about their own kind of startup, their own um, kind of what ne what's next in their journey. You know, I learn as an investor what's kind of around the corner. Um, I'm starting to hear kind of what are the issues people are facing and then how can I as an investor really start to help them kind of surmount some of those issues as well. It's such an amazing team and people are actually engaged. They're engaged with what they're doing. They understand like this is not just a place where people come to work. This is where people are coming to build something. And so whether it's someone who is, you know, serving UT or someone who's organizing an interview like this, 
Um, you know, I feel that everyone knows that this is a mission driven place and people here are really trying to drive their own missions. And so I think for me that's what makes Collabs that special place.